When we open Word, we'll normally see recent documents along the left-hand side and unique templates on the right-hand side. For the resume, we simply click Blank Document. We begin laying out our document by initially starting with our margin. If we look across the top of the screen, we see several menu tabs, and we're going to go to Page Layout. We then click on the Margin submenu, and you'll notice there are several pre-configured margin setups. In our case, we're going to click on Narrow, which are 0.5 or half inch margins. You'll notice that we're still on the Page Layout view, so please click on the Home tab in order to continue working on the resume. For demonstration purposes, I'll simply paste some text into our document, which will allow us to demonstrate proper formatting. We'll begin our formatting by selecting all the information for our header section and using Center Justification. Creating distinct sections on your resume allows for optimal readability, and this can be accomplished through the use of lines. If we return to the Menu tab across the top, you'll see the Insert button. It allows us to insert cover pages and page breaks and things like that. And in our case, we're going to insert a shape. Draw the shape by holding down the left mouse button and dragging the line across the page. When we release the mouse button, it gives us the option to format that line or shape. And we can do that by using the Shape Outline button or a pre-formatted line. In order to finish our heading, we simply highlight our name, add some bold, and blow that way up to 25 or 28 point font, and that will allow our name to be the initial central focus of our document. Each subheading on a resume should be unique. This will allow the reader to easily move through our resume without confusion. This can easily be accomplished by highlighting the text that we'd like to select, moving to the font menu, and selecting the Change Case button. In this situation, we'll use uppercase. We move to our next section, Select, Change Case. We select the heading text again and add a touch of bold. Newer or inexperienced users to Word often struggle with aligning dates on their resume. Users will too often use the space bar when in fact they need to use the tab key. In this case, we're going to add our dates of employment. We'll place our cursor directly before the 1212 and use our tab key on our keyboard to position the date where we'd like it. The backspace key or the delete key will move it to the left and the tab key will move it to the right. Again, for demonstration purposes, I've added some text for our action verb and job description statements. In order to create a bulleted list, simply highlight the desired text, go to the bullet command at the top, and simply click on the bullets. If you'd like to make an adjustment to the placement of the bulleted list, simply scroll up to the margins and drag the tab to the desired position. Adjusting incorrect line spacing in Microsoft Word is fairly simple. I've pasted some information into our document. You notice our line spacing is probably set at double. We highlight the information. We right click and select paragraph. And you'll notice our line spacing is set at double. Select single, hit the OK button, and our formatting is correct. At any time, we can select text, hit Control and X to cut, and Control V to paste. These are the two most common shortcuts in Microsoft Word. Simply follow the instructions demonstrated in this tutorial for the remainder of the resume. For information about this tutorial or any other career-related topics, please contact the Career Development Center.